and here it is you guys hello hello thank you so much for taking time out of your day for watching my channel for the love of this is lauren if this is your first time watching my channel welcome if you're a returning viewer or subscriber welcome on back this week was kind enough to reach out to me and i want to give a big thank you to one of my fellow fellow candle influencers for um, pointing me in their direction. And uh, if you're watching this, you know who you are. So Goose Creek was very kind and uh, patient and waited on me. Um, again, as I've said before, I'm back in school and my, um, my at-home work's been picking up quite a bit. So I just have not been reviewing as much, but it's Goose Creek, you guys. Before I dive into today's video, this will be timestamped. I'm gonna have them kind of timestamped in three different areas. We have our peppermints, we also have some of our gourmand fragrances, and then what I'm gonna call our classic Christmas fragrances. On this video, talk about candles. So without further ado, we are diving into today's review. Today, we're gonna start off with my some of my favorites, which are peppermints. So we're gonna kick it off with Wonderland. And all I can say is just creamy, smooth, almost like one of those after dinner mints. So, so pretty. So it has the notes right on the front here. They're saying peppermint, vanilla, and balsam. Uh, reading it from their website, the notes go a little more in detail. Top notes of crisp peppermint, warm vanilla bean. We got iced lemon, light balsam, and precious white woods. This one is so, so pretty. Uh, Fragrance-wise of the peppermints, this is probably one of my favorites. Um, and, and it throws, it throws. I had this going and sometimes peppermints can be a little temperamental. You guys, it was just this beautiful, lingering, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. I absolutely love this one. Um, if you like those after dinner -y type mint fragrances, definitely check this one out. Retail price point on these are $25.50. I guess row one to 10, 10, of course, being the strongest. I'd say Wonderland in an open room. He's coming in at like a solid seven and a half, maybe even an eight. Um, he was one of the mid to stronger ones of the peppermints. Definitely a repurchase for me. If you like peppermint, creamy, dreamy, smooth peppermint, check out Wonderland. And the packaging is just very fitting and perfect. So that was Wonderland right there. On our peppermint list is the beautiful sleigh ride. I was a little, at first I saw teakwood on the notes and I go, eh, we'll see how this one is. This one is really, again, another beautiful scent. All the peppermint fragrances or mint fragrances are all very unique. Um, and they all just have their own their own personality, and I love all of them very much. Now, Sleigh Ride's not as smooth and creamy, dreamy as, say, Wonderland is. Sleigh Ride's got a little bit more of a, a boldness to it. So the notes on the label say teakwood, spruce, and snow. But if we look a little bit more in detail on their website, I'm pulling it up right here for Actually, us. Actually, on here, so teakwood, spruce, snow, peppermint, and sandalwood. So it's got a little bit more of a warmth. They're essentially saying it's Christmas Eve and Santa's filling his sleigh. Christmas morning is a few hours away. Truly, you get a little bit more of an outdoorsy aspect to this, but it is still most certainly a, in my eyes, a pepperminty, minty type of fragrance. This one, again, this one was another strong, medium to strong one, um, coming in around the same as Wonderland, 1 to 10, 10, of course, being the strongest. He's around a 7.5, maybe almost an 8. Um, a beautiful wafting type fragrance really really beautiful is this a repurchase for me yes absolutely and again the packaging is perfect i love their packaging on this collection i mean if you look at the details on this very very beautiful so again this is a three wick all the ones i'm reviewing today are all three wicks so sleigh ride definitely a repurchase peppermint fans out there definitely check this one out Ooh, and one of my favorite favorite favorites scent wise of our peppermint collection mint collection is vanilla snow angels look at this darling packaging beautiful beautiful wraparound i really like this um seasoned goose creek they have on their website if you're looking at their candles they have them kind of turning spinning around it's a very cute aesthetic so vanilla snow angels so the notes on the actual candle say vanilla cream sugar and peppermint if we go a little bit deeper they're saying vanilla cream snowy sugar peppermint and woods i get a little bit of warmth out of this one um, they're saying take a romantic carriage ride through the winter white woods. So this one, to me, although it does have a little bit of that woodsy note, it's not an outdoorsy scent. He's more of still a creamy kind of dreamy, airy peppermint to me. Um, I would say this is one of my favorites. Now, the only downfall is of the peppermint ones, he's probably the lightest. Okay, so Vanilla Snow Angels, um, I would repurchase. I would probably just get it in the wax melt form though. 
If you like something a little lighter, a little more muted, definitely check it out. In an open room, 1 to 10, 10, of course, being the strongest. Vanilla Snow Angels is, he's a little bit lighter. He's probably like a five and a half, maybe, maybe a six. Even if you're one who doesn't want a super strong scent, definitely still check it out. Probably one of my favorites, as I said, of the peppermints. He's just not that strong, but that's okay. The scent itself is beautiful. And that right there is Vanilla Snow Angels. And right along, one of the ones that caught me by surprise, Dazzling Popcorn. So I love popcorn fragrances, you guys. Um, and again, I'm adding a quick voiceover here. I thought I had my audio issues fixed, but uh, we're still working on it. Um, this one surprised me because sometimes, as you know, popcorn fragrances can be artificial. I was worried it would be too buttery. This isn't. Um, the best way I can describe this is if you take a bag of just, you know, fresh popcorn. It's holiday season. People have like the novelty popcorn and just open up a bag. Now, this one doesn't have caramel in the notes, um, but to me, I almost get like a caramel-esque uh, fragrance out of it. Not super sweet, ooey gooey caramel. Um, it could be more so maybe like the caramelized sugar um, and some of the cream in there, but it's it smells like authentic popcorn. I know berries is in the note as well. I didn't get too much fruit, but I did just get a really nice almost caramelized sweetness. It's very, very authentic. It's not artificial at all. Um, it was one of the last ones I burned um, because I wasn't sure how well it would perform, but it's it's really good. Popcorn lovers, gourmand lovers, you might want to check this one out. So again, one to 10, 10 of course being the strongest. Throw on this one, quite pleasant. Um, I'd say this isn't the strongest, but I don't think this is one you would want very strong. In an open room, this was at about a 7.5. Um, medium range, medium thrower. Uh, it was more wafty. Um, just catching faint hints of it, but what, what I was smelling was, you know, noticeable. Um, repurchase, yes or no? I would repurchase this one. This is kind of one of those fun ones you might get like one or two of every season. Uh, I would definitely get it again in a wax melt. I think it'd be nice in a scent layering type form as well. So any popcorn lovers out there, gourmand lovers, definitely check this one out. That right there is Dazzling Popcorn. And next up, undoubtedly one of the cutest, in my opinion, Look at this little guy, treat your elf with this cute little holly berry wraparound with this darling classic elf. My grandmother used to put out little elf on the shelves like that at holiday time. So this one's really, really cute. Now, I was not sure. Well, I do like bakery scents, gourmand scents. I'm not like a candied scent type person, so I wasn't sure on this one. Unique is all I have to say. I don't know if he's a repurchase for me. Um, it's unique. It's different. Um... Don't let that first note, if you look at the bottom, it says gumdrops and berries. It's not full on gumdrops, okay? Um, it's got a really nice blend. Let me read you the notes and I'll tell you my thoughts. So the notes on their website are sugared gumdrops, buried lemon and sugar, which I do get that. And then also vanilla buttercream. So this one to me is just a really pretty candy type scent without being overly sugar candied. Um, but it's, it's definitely still a foody, sweetsy type set. It's got a little bit of smoothness in it, and I think maybe that's what that vanilla buttercream does is it kind of kind of mutes it a little bit. He, um, he wasn't my favorite, but it's not a bad scent by any means. Um, if you like those classic Christmas candy scents, definitely check this one out. It's not artificial by any means. Again, it's not overly sweet or overly fake at all. All of the fragrances, all of the, it's just got a lot of dimension to it. So that's why I think this one's the most intriguing. Just the scent itself, I don't know if I want to constantly be smelling like a blend of, of Christmas candies, but um, A plus for ingenuity. Throw one to 10, 10 of course being the strongest. This one again, he wasn't the strongest. I'd say this is probably maybe a six and a half. Um, very unique fragrance. I would may repurchase it in a wax melt form because I think it would be nice to scent layer. But if you're all about those yummy, yummy, treaty type fragrances that aren't bakery, those sweetsy, sweetsy treats, definitely check this one out. And that was Treat Your Elf right there. We're moving on to what I'm going to call the Christmas classics. We have three more. We got Hollyberry Wreath. I also have my beautiful This Is Christmas. And then we have our beautiful Frosted Cranberry glowing in the background right there. Now you might also be wondering, I may as well mention this now before we carry on. Well, wait, what are you burning in your holder? Well, that is actually, so because I had to haul all of these, what better time to use my electric tea lights 
from Vaunt. I'll throw a picture of their box on the screen. That's another company I'm working with. You I will guys. have their information in the description below, but that's actually, I go, they might be thinking I'm sneaking and hiding an extra candle on them. I'm not. Those are my LED tea lights from Vaunt. You guys get 10% off on Vaunt, amazon.com. Just wanted to throw that in there. Moving on to our Christmas classics, Holly Berry Wreath. I love a good Holly Berry scent. Um, I love eucalyptus, I love woods, and I love holly berry. Sometimes it can be a little too sweet, so when I saw this, I go, okay, let's try it and let's find out. Let me read you the notes, and then I will tell you my thoughts on holly berry wreath packaging. I love this. Look at the details on this, you guys. They um, A plus for packaging this season. They really knocked it out of the park with their packaging. All right, notes for holly berry wreath, if we go a little more in detail. Holly berry, which yes, you get that beautiful, sweet holly berry. Frosted eucalyptus, yes, absolutely. Garland wreath, yes, I get garland and woods. This smells like a fresh wreath. There's no other way to describe it than a fresh wreath. I absolutely love this one. Now, if you like outdoorsy, woodsy, fresh scents with a bit of sweetness, you'll like this. If you want a classic Christmas tree scent or a woodsy scent that's not sweet, don't get this one. This one, he airs on the side of a, like a sweet sap, a sweetness to it. Um, so if you don't care for that, then you might not enjoy this one. I don't mind those. Um, is this a repurchase for me? Yes, absolutely. Although because it is on the sweeter side, I don't know if it's one I would burn back to back to back to back. I think it'd make a really beautiful blending scent if you got the wax melts. Throw on this one, fantastic. Fantastic, I was so impressed, so happy with this one. One to 10, 10 of course being the strongest. He's like, I had him burning a couple times. If, if I popped the top open for you, you'd see he's like halfway gone. This one's coming in at like a solid eight and a half. Um, maybe even a nine, depending what room you have him on. Just beautiful, smells like a fresh, fresh wreath. So if that is your jam, Definitely check out Holly Berry Wreath. I couldn't be happier with this fragrance. Moving right along of our Christmas classic type scents. This is Christmas. He is one of, I, I mean, to me, this is quintessential Christmas, which is probably why they named it This is Christmas. So as we see on here, the notes say pine, eucalyptus, and cinnamon. I really don't get tons of eucalyptus. This has that warmth. It's got that piney, Christmas tree-y type scent. You have the cinnamon, um, it's cozy. Little bit of a hint of spice. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me read you the notes a little more in detail. So the notes for this is Christmas include pine. They also have some evergreen in there, which I do get evergreen. Eucalyptus, berry, and cinnamon. And it is just, oh my gosh. Ugh. It's, it's so you guys good. You might see a couple wicks in there. I actually just went through and trimmed all the wicks on these before I filmed, so they're nice and fresh. I get just this, it's almost a bit of a cinnamon bark with like the pine and the evergreen. The eucalyptus is very light. The eucalyptus is not anywhere near as strong as it is in say, um, actually, even in the holly berry wreath, the eucalyptus kind of sticks out a little bit more. Not in This Is Christmas. This one's fantastic, you guys. This is 100% a repurchase for me. If you like a classic Christmas fragrance with a good, strong throw, definitely check this one out. Throw 1 to 10, 10, of course, being the strongest. This Is Christmas is coming in at like a 9. Um, eh, dare I say 9.5? I'd say 9 because it depends on placement. But this one's noticeable. It's strong, and it is absolutely just the perfect Christmas fragrance. Again, look at that packaging. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. I love the fade. I love kind of like that bouquet, bouquet look to it. Um, beautiful, definitely a repurchase for me. I'm gonna wind up grabbing another one so I have it next season. Don't know if this one's gonna come back or not, but um, if you enjoy classic scents, this is, this is one you're gonna wanna grab. And not least, Frosted Cranberry. There's a reason why he's in a pedestal and that's because I love this one. If you guys have followed me for a while, you know I love a good cranberry scent. And um, sometimes they can be a little overly sweet. So, you know, again, I never know. This one's so, so pretty. I know it's in a candle holder right now from a, actually this holder is from a brand that we will not name, but you can see the beautiful picture in here. This is frosted cranberries and I'm putting him kind of under our classic. The notes, not telling you my thoughts. Notes include red cranberries, snow cream, sugar, and vanilla. 
He's just a classic cranberry scent. Semi-sweet, semi-tart. Not overly sweet. There are some cranberry scents out there that are just like a cranberry punch. that are just oh, too much for me, too much. This is not. It's got that brightness. Um, and the sweetness is still a little bit tart at the same time. It's quite interesting. It's really, really pretty. That probably is maybe a little bit of that sugar and vanilla poking through. Um, very beautiful scent. Now, he's not the strongest. Okay, that's the unfortunate part. He's not the strongest. Um, I'm sitting right by it and I'm catching wafts of it. Um, he's one of the lighter ones, one to 10, 10, of course, being the strongest. This one's coming in at maybe, I'd say, a six, um, five and a half, six. So you might want to put this one maybe in a smaller room um, or maybe in the kitchen somewhere that's a little more enclosed, depending on the setup of your home. But I would definitely repurchase this one. This might be a really pretty blending scent. Grab yourself the wax melts, blend it with some other fragrances. But if you're looking for a classic cranberry scent, Frosted Cranberries is absolutely it. It for me on my first ever, well, I don't want to say first ever, but first ever sponsored, affiliated. Um, <laughs> I don't, again, I don't get commissions if you use the code. It was just nice of Goose Creek to, um, to share that with you guys. So this is my first ever um, affiliated Goose Creek candle post burn review. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys Goose Creek for letting me try these and share these with everyone. I had fun testing all of these out. What a beautiful variety of fragrances. Again, if you guys know which ones you want, check out their website. You're going to get 15% off. All the info will be in the description down below. If you have used any of the candles I talked about today, or maybe you've tried some of their newer ones, leave in the comments below. Let me know which ones you're burning or let me know what you're burning right now. Before I sign off, I do want to mention if you are on Instagram, please come find me. On Instagram is where you're going to see the most up-to-date and most current posts of products, candles, um, hauls, mini hauls. Sometimes I'm trying out skincare, things like that. So if you're on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. As I said, I use my Instagram to post upcoming videos, purchases, hauls, candles, Christmas presents, holiday gift giving ideas, things like that. So if you're on there, come find me. That's it for me today. As always, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And until next time, enjoy your holiday birds. We'll see you later. Bye, guys. And you guys, one other thing. Vaunt, I wanted to peek this in here. Those are my flameless tea lights. Us candle lovers, sometimes we're too busy burning candles and we need them in other spaces. If you have hurricanes up in higher spots and you're not wanting to have a real candle, check out Vaunt, V-O-N-T on the Amazon store. Check them out. They're on Amazon. I just wanted to pop that in there. Thank you, Vaunt. And thank you, Goose Creek. And you guys, until next time, we'll see you later.